Welcome back everyone to episode 15 of Let's Play Rule the Ways as Germany. So we finally got ourselves back into the war. We're just barely edging out a lead in victory points. Um, I was kind of looking at where our ships are off camera. I did make a few adjustments. For some reason our heavy cruiser was making a run for the Mediterranean. Last I remember we put her on raiding for Northeast Asia. So I'm going to put her back there. Um, we don't have any ships which are out of supply or any ships which uh, we don't have any sea zones which don't have sufficient foreign tonnage so everything is looking good I'm gonna try to avoid the heavier fights so basically what are, what are we up to now like what what has happened to the Japanese fleet they have one dreadnought and one battleship one battle cruiser is building so we've eliminated a lot of their heavy ships we can see that in the last battle, we sunk two battleships, a dreadnought, and even over the course of this uh, war, we've sunk two of their heavy cruisers as well. Not only that, but it's still somewhat important to note that we've sank seven, no, sorry, six of their destroyers and light cruiser. So what they're looking at is a rel relatively low, uh, well, I guess their light cruiser and destroyer count isn't so bad. Again, if we can force them to lose a lot of their light cruisers and destroyers, they won't have sufficient escorts and they will feel uncomfortable engaging in battles. That's one way you can kind of eke out a victory, just turn by turn, forcing them to decline action because they don't have sufficient escorts. Okay, but I think that that's not going to happen immediately. This is also very helpful, the fact that we are blockading Japan. I missed it in the last episode. I mean, I, I was re-watching the video to post it and I was like, oh, well... I'm very silly. We are, in fact, blockading them. Huh. Examination of captured enemy munitions. Excellent. Okay, very good. I, AP is always good. It increases our penetration tables. Um, their submarines are still doing work. We don't have any unrest, though. Ah, man. Silly Victoria Luis. All right, here we go. One, three, five total, eight, eight to three. Okay. So I don't want to auto resolve because I feel like it's going to put us in a, they don't always auto resolve eh, fairly. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that any of our ships are going to be able to take any of their ships. So what we'll do is somewhat speedily try to end this engagement. It's either going to be a heavy cruiser, in which case we run away, or it's going to be a light cruiser, and in which case we'll try to fight it. Okay, well, gentle breeze from the south means that we want to be on the north side of them, but let's see. We know it's not a destroyer, but the fact that we think it's a destroyer probably means it's a light cruiser, in which case we will take this engagement. Yeah, okay, so let's see what we're really dealing with here. This is one of their older, yeah, it even says old Japanese light cruiser. That might mean that it's even um, obsolete or old, which means it should fight at slightly lowered effectiveness. It's a pretty sizable 5,800 tons, though, so sinking this is really worth it just because it'll give us a lot of victory points. Now, I mean, their fighting are very similar so they have a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 sided broadside. I think that's exactly what we have as well. Let's find out. Yep. <laughs> so it's really the same thing, except for they have um, slightly worse belt and turret armor, 2 and 2, and they have higher deck armor, 2. As long as we close range, that's not going to be a problem. They also have two submerged torpedoes, just like me. Now, if we get too close, their 3-inch guns might actually be effective, so we kind of want to play somewhere in the middle here. Probably, oh, well, that's a good start already. Let's go two more turns before we change course. See if we can get another hit. Okay, but for torpedo reasons, let's go ahead and adjust course. Two, three, and switch back. One, two, three. I, I find that um, whenever the torpedo hits, whenever I get torpedo hits, it usually is my own negligence that I wasn't switching every three 
Okay, belt extended. Ooh, ooh, well that's not good. Hopefully that's not the ones on the firing side. Unfortunately it is. So they reduced our firing turrets by one, unfortunately, for the time being. Hopefully our superior ship, like crew, will still give us some hits. Good. Okay, they're obviously locked in on us. Unfortunately, we're kind of conceding the wind, and there is a, a breeze. Let's fight that back. Okay, two more hits. This is three. Now we have to turn. We're so close, I'm actually going to turn after two. Two. One. Two. Okay, good. We're still getting a lot of hits on them. It says light damage, which you can probably say equally about us as them. Actually, our damage percent is pretty low, only 8%. Shoot, I don't remember when's the last time we turned. Oh, well, getting turrets which are destroyed is not good, especially if it's the front turret. I mean, the important thing I'm trying to weigh here is that their armor is less. Now, they have extremely high conning tower armor. Yeah, so we won't have much success if we hit their conning tower, but... Oh, I guess we are launching torpedoes. Okay, since we're launching torpedoes, let's back off. We don't want them to change course, which they already have, so let's switch back, and it's like they know. <laughs> it's kind of silly how they just somehow knew my torpedo was coming at them. They don't, you know, have any kind of volatile action the whole time, and then my torpedo comes at them, and suddenly they're ducking and dodging all over the place. Hmm. Well, we're only able to bring five, uh, three of our turrets to, <laughs> to bear now. If I was able to switch over to the other side, that wouldn't be the case, but we'd get four at least. But, okay. They're going to have to make a run at us. Belt extended was hit. Another turret did save. Good God, man. How are they hitting the top of our turret from so close? Okay, at least it's not one of the ones that's firing. Another penetration against us. It's been long enough that we should probably turn. Hmm. Yeah, we're starting to lose this one, sadly. I think we might have to go desperation. Okay, through two hits. Let's stay on one more. Okay, that turn is very scary. Now turn back. I don't think they can fire a torpedo at such an oblique angle. I'm pretty sure they're too submerged our uh, port and starboard, not aft and stern. Or any other kind of weird combination. Okay, we're still firing three. Let's turn a little bit more. Hits are starting to come faster now. Slow down a little bit. Okay, not a penetrating hit from our deck. I'm going to slow down a little bit more to hopefully increase our hits. A penetrating hit, but only on our belt extended. Now, these are still starting to add up, you know. The extended belt doesn't exactly protect the critical locations. Uh, so it's not like a penetrating hit there is the worst thing ever, but it still can add damage over time. Okay, but still, we're racking up quite a few hits here. All right, let's turn back to... This is actually good. We can get to our stronger side. Uh, we have a turret, never mind, we have a turret disabled on that side anyway, so. Okay. Splinters, perforate uptakes. Two more hits. We're firing very handicapped in terms of guns here. We've destroyed one of theirs. It looks like we've limited them to a three-sided broadside as well. Okay, this is a bad angle for us. Let's pull up just to avoid torpedoes. They do appear like... Is that fire? Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, heavy damage and on fire. Okay, good. So we probably won this one. Let's just go ahead and do some more dodging around. Make sure we don't get by a torpedo here. Ah, whoa. Do you see that? Oh, launching torpedoes. I thought it said she was avoiding torpedoes. And that's a torpedo hit. Perfect. Okay, good. So we took medium damage, but we'll take the victory. It's just going to increase our lead a little bit. Ooh, wow, we have a lot of things here. Okay, so I couldn't find it last time. I don't see the blockade information here, in fact. Okay, I'm trying... 
Look at it. I'll even arrow through each one at a time. Okay, London class. They're scrapping. Battle cruiser. Japan. Scrapping. Ah, so there's some rebuilding going on. Okay, so very interesting. If this is a ship class. Oh, this must be an old ship class, though, because that's a really terrible belt. <laughs> really terrible, USA. Come on. Okay. Okay, well, I don't see any uh, blockade. We don't see the blockade information here. Let's find out why that is. <clears throat> Oops. Yeah, it's because all of our dreadnoughts are being repaired. <laughs> well, that would explain it. Okay, well, let's push on to the next turn then. Oh my gosh, we are not having much luck, are we? Now we don't even have enough tonnage on foreign stations, and we just got really decimated. Okay, this is a convoy attack. We have one of our dreadnoughts left uh, back, but those usually don't engage in the convoy attacks. Still, I feel like I should decline this just because let's get all of our forces in position. So it's going to take one more turn before our other dreadnought is back, and we'd rather attack with a, a full complement. <clears throat> okay, let's sort by location actually. So, Northeast Asia, what do you have in it? One raider. I'd really like to up that to two. Oh no, the nymph has disappeared. That's why we have a foreign tonnage shortage. But that's okay, we have a few Gephions back in, well, whoops, in Northern Europe. So we'll just send one of those over. In fact, we have probably too many battleships. We don't need this many. We'll send. Um, one of ours to, where was it? India? Yeah, we'll send one to the Indian Ocean. Indian Ocean. But let's pull up another one of our battleships. Maybe just one. Europe. Who wants to come? The Brandenburg. I picked you first. Well, let's just find out who, wow, the Brandenburg. Brandenburg, I don't know how she's not elite status. She's obviously engaged in <laughs> her fair share of engagements. Yeah, I mean, do you see this? <laughs> She's already gotten seven engagements to her name. Huh, it's pretty good. Okay, good. So now we are blockading the enemy, that's good. Um, I could just look at the B here. And the messages should indicate 200 victory points for blockade of enemy. Good. That's better. Alright, let's keep going then. Keep pushing on. The Indian Ocean should be fixed. In fact, now I probably have to set somebody temporarily to foreign stations. Let's look at somebody in Southeast Asia. Uh, yeah, so I'm just going to pretend that this one is now on foreign station. And that will satisfy for one more turn. Okay, we're helping the French more. Why wouldn't we? Another convoy attack. Now we're in a better situation. Oh, did they complete their battle cruiser? That would be problematic. We'll jump in anyway. Okay, good. So it's not, it's just a destroyer. So we do have a support force, which is a little strange. But where are we headed here? Do we have control right away? No. I kind of like it when we don't have control right away, because that means. We should just run into the enemy immediately. There it is. Okay, so they're that way. These are pretty good destroyers. They carry a real sizable complement of torpedoes. Wow. This is apparently a veteran as well. V4, I don't... Well, I don't really pay attention to my destroyers, to be honest, so... I'm sure that's actually true. So let's let them get 26, so they still maintain formation. That allows the rear ones to catch up just in case they start falling behind. We will continue with the line ahead. Okay, there's a strong breeze from the north, so let's head to the south. Okay, we have a... that does not look like a transport ship. That thing is a destroyer if I've ever seen one. No way it moves that fast. <laughs> Okay, so one important thing to note, they're probably going to engage us before we get into range because they, nope, they only have three inch guns themselves. In fact, their gun complement is worse than mine. 
somehow. So we actually should stay on the fringes and just let our guns slowly whittle them down. Because we don't want to get close enough. Is that also true with this one? So this one has three four inch guns. That's problematic. Everybody has this massive star. I mean, is, is this true or is everyone really a veteran or maybe my game is bugged a little bit. Let's go up to 27. Okay, here we go, we're getting into range. So as we're getting into range, I want all of my ships together. So I'm gonna try to slow up a little bit. Okay, we're firing. Here we go. And uh, I have to remember, this is not about killing destroyers, this is about sinking the enemy uh, transports. So I don't wanna get too caught up here. And now the virtual speed is gonna be insane because they're doing some ma massive Massive direction. Okay, hey, this is good. Wait, we have four inch guns? I'm silly. We do indeed have four inch guns. I now I remember. <laughs> I remember doing that. Okay, uh wow. Lots of ships. So what I'm gonna do is turn off the firing of torpedoes for the time being. When we're engaging destroyers, that's just a total waste of our torpedoes. So let's just go ahead and do some brief engagement with this destroyer. If we can sink him, that's fine. But really, we, we need to get involved. They could just be screening against the main forces here. If, if, I was in a, if I was the actual person defending a convoy, this is what I would do too. Push their ships away. Okay, another hit. Any one of those 4-inch hits could be... Unidentified ship fires. Well, it must be over here then. So, we'll look over there. Okay, here's the transports, yeah. Oh, we're actually headed right at the transports. Okay, good. That's good to know. I need my log back. MS fires an unknown ship. Oh, so minesweepers are involved too. Wait, are we sure that's all I have? Yeah, I only have... Well, it supposedly is right here. Oh, there I am. <laughs> There's my DDV-5. Which, unfortunately, it, if it's sunk... Yeah, this is insane. Everybody has seven stars. Uh, this will really be the... Yeah, okay. There's definitely some kind of bug. That's unfortunate. I was getting excited. I thought my ships actually were... You know, that powerful. Okay, so let's see what the AI does to try to sink my own ship. Because that is one of my main... You know, um... On map or actual units. It's not one that's just generated for this mission. If that's sunk, I do lose a, an actual destroyer on the campaign, campaign map. Okay, that's a good torpedo. These two? Not. <laughs> you are crazy. What are you doing? For the love of God, man. So we're going to have to babysit this guy. Did he just get hit? Oh my gosh. What? Oh, that was a close one. All right, we're going to avoid launching torpedoes at first, but this is probably where uh, we can start sinking some of their destroyers. Uh, sorry, their transports. Yeah, so as we do target the ones on the left, our port side guns... Wait, that's not... That's weird. We don't have port side guns. Why are we... Don't get distracted, guys. The important thing here is to engage the destroyers. Okay, the coal bunkers, the only part of our destroyers which is armored, has um, saved us a bit. And this is really dangerous. Okay, but three good hits with our four-inch guns. I'm The only reason... I mean, I'm very hopeful that that is just going to limit their ability to fire accurately. Oof, we got serious issues though. We need to kind of buy time for this V5 to get its engine started again, or whatever it's... I don't know what the heck it's doing, you know? Okay. Another hit. Wasn't penetrating, though. 
This would be kind of a fun engagement to watch. You can imagine these destroyers just circling around. And the DD5, uh, V5 is now up in Nanum, moving to engage. I don't know what our objective is, only to sink two. Yeah, we, we should be able to do this, accomplish this easily. Okay, do I have to remind you to please target the destroyers? I was taking a brief look at the sea if the wind was still there. Okay, let's make sure that we're not going to get hit by torpedoes here. How are they doing? Medium damage? Medium damage, supposedly. You wouldn't know it, though, would you? Hmm. V2 class. Oh, that's my guy. Okay. Well, they've run us pretty far away. I'm okay with that to a small degree. Yeah, well, we already sunk two. So, basically, while we chase off the... It's actually happening in the reverse manner. While we chase off the destroyers, our other destroyer is just sinking all the other transport ships, which is fine by me. They went into line of breast, which is not good for them. That can be can be a sign that they're trying to launch torpedoes, though. Okay, another hit. We need those hits. That looks like it's damaged. Yeah. Let's go after that one then. We're gonna expose ourselves a little bit for a moment. But this is whoa. What is, are we gonna crisscross? I hate crisscrossing. This doesn't look good. Oh boy. Wow. Madness. Those crazy Japanese captains, man. He's coming back for more. Two more hits. That should put him in a serious damage penalty. This one is the one that has four inch guns, too, so we have to be, you know, pretty careful. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Okay, good. Dead stopped. No point in launching torpedoes yet. We couldn't find ourselves encountering, you know, for example, a. Uh, a Dreadnought, Battleship, Heavy Cruiser, any, anything. So we have to be a bit careful. No reason to engage these guys. Uh, wow. Oh my gosh. Our V5 just made short work of their entire merchant fleet. Okay. So let's not focus on the other destroyer until this one's sunk. It's now sunk. Yeah, we will actually detach. And I don't think we'll go after this... Minikaze class destroyer quite yet, even though it is the weaker one. And we should have already done some damage to it. <laughs> They're just abandoning ship too. <laughs> huh. So that means the very last of the merchants is going to sink now. We've done a good job here. So let's just uh, keep our distance, not risk a torpedo hit this late in the game. Very unlikely that they would get a torpedo hit with uh, this kind of distance against such maneuverable and really such small ships. And as far as I know, the Minikaze is not fast. 27, so we're actually going at her max speed, and that's her theoretical or at least undamaged max speed. So here we go. This is where we want the hits to happen. This is where we want them. Okay, that's one hit. After this, we might actually go on a, a bit of a chase for their other ship. What is going on? You still <laughs> you still have that one merchant ship left. Another hit. Obviously, the, the even the first torpedo hit immediately sinks us, so we have to be careful about that. Okay, they definitely slowed down, so this is probably the moment where we take advantage and go in for the kill. 
I know it's not super exciting, destroyer versus destroyer. Actually, it is for me. This is kind of a fun engagement because things are happening so fast. But there's not a lot at stake. If, if that's what you're thinking, then you're absolutely correct. Okay, so why don't we raise the stakes a little bit then and see about going after maybe some of these supposedly these battle cruisers and cruisers. Let's go. I'm thinking that this one is going to sink, but let's go one more drive-by, one more hit. Just another pair. Oh, wow. Okay. Nope, they don't have any ships left, so I guess those were false reports. Well, obviously, this is one of our most successful victories to date because we sank everything we could, and we didn't take too much damage. So, very good. Which is probably a perfect little place to call this uh, episode to a close. So good, I think that things are progressing a lot better. We've jumped up to a 2,000 victory point lead. We were as far as two, maybe even more than 2,000 victory points um, down. We were losing by 2,000 previously, so it's a nice little comeback. I like the comeback story. So, um, Indian Ocean will soon have a new ship. Japan is probably gonna have to concede and as long as we can weather a few more turns with four, <laughs> four merchant ships being lost, I think we can. Um, another thing to consider is we have still pretty high funds, even though we're building... I, I was looking at this. The main budget uh, expense right now is this, the construction we have. So I shouldn't be too worried about the maintenance, because it's sure it does still contribute to about 25% about of my um, budget. Everything else is pretty negligible if you put it in light of construction. So, okay, so small engagement probably doesn't mean anything interesting. Although, okay, well, I'm just going to accept, because I, I, I was guessing they would decline. They don't have any destroyers, so a small engagement I was thinking would have been destroyers. Okay, they're, this is important. I'm glad that we actually paid attention to the log. The Fuso is damaged and has been entered in a neutral port, so on another one of their heavy cruisers, too. Let's just take a look. What ships do they really have left? They have, so their battle cruiser is out. It's six 12 inch guns. Okay, 16 six inch guns, which is pretty sizable. But other than that, not so bad. They also, with their um, dreadnought, the Kawachi class, they also followed our example and didn't mount torpedo tubes. Very interesting. So they have five heavy cruisers, the Fuso's in turn, so they only have two heavy, like, well, if you don't count heavy cruisers, they only have two, um, like, fleet command type ships left. <laughs> the biggest of the biggest. So that's good. I think that it should be, okay, foreign station, active fleet, we have enough people there now. And this guy should be having fuel because we have, we're not over, oh we are over the limit in the ocean. I think it's just time for us to increase this base a little bit more. Yes, we will build another base there. Because we don't want to lose our minesweepers for nothing, but okay. Hmm. Very good. 28 minutes, private dock size. I think let's be careful about, oh, let's do this. These revolutionaries can be dangerous. I don't want to do give them safe passage because it could backfire on us. So let's just do that. Oh, nice. More damage control. Okay, convoy attack. I don't want to do another one of those. So we'll just decline this one, take the 75 victory points. A cruiser action where they have plenty of cruisers. I'm going to accept this. So I'll probably do this one off camera just because I think we might get lucky and actually engage one of their... Oh, whoa, we're at port. We, we could get lucky and actually engage one of their armored... Um, sorry, armed merchant cruisers. I don't think that's actually the case now that I see the setup for this map. <laughs> yeah, it, in all likelihood, I bet we're going to engage like a, a heavy cruiser. It'll sink us, but... I'll just do this off camera, so you don't have to worry about it. Uh, if it's interesting, I'll record it and I'll leave it. But if it's not interesting, then I'll see you back after this fight in the next episode. Until then, take care.